Hey, it's Miss Alana here working on math, getting smarter and smarter every day, just like you. In this video, we are going to practice how to convert measurements. We are working on some customary units of measure for capacity for today. Uh, what is that? You wonder, well, I'll let you know in a second, but before you get started, before we get started, you need to make sure that you have your math notebook with you. Get that, get a pencil, and make sure you have your packet as well. And we don't really need everything in our packet, but I do need for you to look at that last page because we're gonna need our conversion, so we're gonna need that, okay? All right, are you ready? Okay, let's begin. So in today's video, we are going to convert measurements between different units of measure. Now there are lots of different kinds of units that we use for measurement, but for today, we are going to use a customary unit and we are going to look at capacity. So let's think about the word capacity. Do you know what the word capacity means? Eh. Capacity is how much something can hold inside of it. Okay, so how much something can hold, and we've talked about that. What was that B word? Volume. So volume is how much something can hold inside of it. So what we are going to do today, we'll go ahead and get your packet, and we have the gallon bot um, right there. You might have seen it another kind of way, another kind of picture. Um, so this is just one way to help you remember the conversions, because sometimes I forget, and I, sometimes I have to like, look it up and it is okay to look it up but we can't look it up on the test so gotta try to remember it in our brain okay so let me explain this picture to you all you can color the picture go ahead and color it at home don't color it in class um just color it at home uh there we go okay so the way you read this picture is we start in the mid middle that's the gallon okay so gallon would be the largest unit of measure with what we're looking at okay so there's a gallon. And when you think about a gallon, think about when you go to the grocery store and maybe you buy those big gallons of milk or maybe the gallons of water, those are gallons, okay? All right, so there's a gallon. Now in a gallon, inside gallons, we have quarts, we have pints, and we have cups. All right, so the next size down from a gallon would, gallon would be what? a quart now how many quarts make up a gallon do you see four quarts do you see those four quarts there's one quart two quarts three quarts four quarts okay so you have four quarts now smaller than a quart we have pints okay smaller than a quart and we can look at right here so look how many pints you see two pints so that means one quart right here equals two pints if I ask you how many pints are there in a gallon, so we're looking at the whole gallon, we have two pints, two pints, two pints, two pints, which makes what? Two, four, six, eight, eight pints in one gallon, okay? And the last thing that's smaller than a quart, than a, well, smaller than a gallon, smaller than a quart, smaller than a pint, would be a cup. Do you see the cups right there? Now, how many cups? Two cups make a pint. And you see these four cups, four cups make the two pints, which make that one quart. Okay, so I have two cups in a pint, but if I had a gallon, how many cups do you see? There's four, 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 and four, that's what? 16 cups. So 16 cups would make that one gallon. Okay, so you can use that this week as a reference. You can use it now. I'm also going to show it to you another kind of way. And here I just wrote some, uh, what do you call that? Equivalencies. These are equivalent to each other. And right here we have customary, no, converting customary units of capacity. Okay, so there we have the same thing. One gallon equals four quarts. And that was just like the picture that I showed you. One gallon equals eight pints, because look right here. Remember, those were the pints. So there were the four quarts, one, two, three, four. The pints, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's why you have one gallon equals eight pints. And then one gallon equals 16 cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, next we have quarts. One quart equals two pints. So remember, that was like that arm the shoulder right there back. So there's a quart, two pints. 
And then one quart equals four cups. So you see that there's the one quart and there's one, two, three, four cups right there. And then we have the last one, one pint equals two cups. One pint right here with two cups right there. Okay, now here are some questions. There are actually four questions here, one, two, three, four. And then for number five, you have to complete the chart. Now, if you rather do the questions first, then do the chart, that's fine. If you want to flip them around and do the chart first and then do the questions, that's fine too, okay? So here are the questions, go ahead. Someone's calling the phone. Maybe that's for a question. I'm gonna get to the phone in a second. Let me hurry up and finish this video. The first question is how many quarts are there in six gallons? Oh, I have my secretary answering the phone. Can you please take a message and I'll tell them I'll call them back later. And we have a guest that's coming in. It's like we have guests on the phone coming in the door. Maybe this special guest will make a special appearance. All right. So back back to the questions. It says, how many quarts are there in six gallons? Go ahead and write those down in your notebook. You can write this down in your notebook and work it out. Don't forget to put the answers in the comments below. Go ahead and type those questions out. Number two, how many cups are there in three gallons? Number three, how many pints are there in eight quarts? And number four, how many cups are there in 15 pints? So you can either use that conversions we have up here, or you can use that picture that you have right there and then get it done. Uh, what I would probably rather do if I was you is I would do the chart and I would use the chart for my answers. So here, complete the chart. You're gonna make a four column chart. The first column is gonna say gallons, then you have quarts, then you have pints, and then you write cups, okay? And I filled out one gallon is equal to four quarts, which is, which is equal to eight pints, which is equal to 16 cups, okay? I want you to notice that there is a pattern. There is a pattern that you will see as you do the chart. Now I stopped at three. I actually want you to go all the way down to 10 gallons, okay? So fill this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 gallons. Write how many quarts are in each of those, how many pints each of those has, and how many cups each of those has. And when you're done, I have the answers. Right there, right there, right there. My answer, my, my answer key's right there. Okay, so you can look at that in the classroom when you come to class. So go ahead and get that done. And I think I am done for today. Don't forget, look at your checklist, get all that work done. If you haven't done Study Island, Moby Max, Study Ladder Online, get those done. Put your comments below. If this is so easy, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our channel. Love you.